rolling out of bed And I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am It's like I'm wasted And I won't waste it Pictured I'd fall in love and marry a city girl, and bet, <laughs> and bet you never pictured a farmer could clean up this good. But here we are. I love you so much, and that love has only grown stronger over the last five and a half years. Looking back, I guess it was pretty obvious that we were meant to be when you laughed at and loved the six-foot-tall wooden giraffe I made for your 21st birthday. After only knowing you for two months, even though I knew that you were afraid and hated giraffes. You've always loved me with all my quirks and have been eager to learn about and help me with my other love, the farm. Once we got you your first pair of farm jeans and boots, you jumped right in and helped whenever you can. Even on 100 degree days, helping me put up a deer fence to help save a cabin in cauliflower field. I cannot wait to see what the rest of our lives have to hold, but as long as I'm with you, I know it'll be a blast. We've come a long way since white shorts and flip-flops on the farm. <laughs> I never thought I'd be waking up at 5.30 on Saturday mornings to work or that I'd be spending my fall weekends working with my husband and in-laws. But that is our life and I cannot imagine it any better way. I love that you're a perfectionist and that everything you do is with purpose and excitement. And I love how much you love me. I never knew that I was missing my other half until I found you. Tim and Emma by the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church and by the great state of New Jersey. <laughs> I happily pronounce you husband and wife. Tim, lay one honor like it's closing time at Cornerstone. <laughs> We're here to talk about Emma and Tim, but mostly Emma. Early on, I taught Tim the two major rules of Emma. Avoid waking her up at all costs, and keep her fed because she'll get hangry, as most of you have heard from many other people tonight. Basically, she's like a really tall, adorable gremlin that hiccups loudly. Clearly, he caught on, because here we are at your wedding. If you two could get through a long-distance relationship, work through a farm season together, and adopt a dog two weeks before your wedding, you'll be able to get through the rest of your lives together. Honestly and truly, I've never honestly seen you happier with anybody in your entire life until you met him. And, you know, every single time we would talk on the phone, in person, I know that we moved a little bit away from each other, that now that I'm in PA and you're still in New Jersey, but every single time you would call me, you would always make sure it was a point to bring up Emma and talk about her. And it was always the greatest thing because I could hear in your voice just how much 
you know, how much love you had in there for her. And it's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. And I'm so happy that you two met each other and fell in love. softness to know 